Second year is a very important phase in our MBBS life. We have to study three crucial subjects in this year Pathology, Pharmacology and Microbiology along with FMT. These are those subjects which are going to create the base of your understanding on which your entire career as a doctor will depend. Hey there, Nivedita Kaudi this side. I am an MBBS student at Makura Shomiloni Medical College, West Bengal. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If I compare the first year subjects with the canvas, then your second year subjects are the colors with which you can paint beautiful pictures, which are basically your clinical subjects. Whether you study ophthalmology, ENT, medicine, surgery, ops and gynae, you must have strong knowledge of the second year subjects. In this video, I will first give you a sneak peek of the subjects and then I will talk about the books which you can buy. Starting with pathology, it tells us about the disease process, how a disease is caused, how it progresses, what are the changes in body due to that disease and what can be the outcome. Next, pharmacology. Pharma is all about drugs. It provides you the knowledge of pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. That means what the drug does to your body and what your body does to the drug. Different classes of drugs, their mechanism of action, uses, adverse effects, contraindications and some important interaction with other drugs. These are the focus areas of pharma. In microbiology, you will come across details of different microbes like bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, etc. which are important from the perspective of medical science. Forensic Medicine and Toxicology or FMT in short. It is concerned with medical-legal aspects of death, injuries, accidents, etc. and the toxicology part is all about different hazardous toxins. In some colleges, a little bit of PSM, that is preventive and social medicine, is also taught in the second year. And if you are enjoying this video, then subscribing to this channel would be remarkable. For pathology, the best available book is Robbins. This is the reference book. If you ask any medical student or teacher, they will invariably tell you the name of this book. But the trouble with this book is, you may feel the language a bit tough. But if you can hold on reading without giving up, then you will be comfortable with this book after a few days or weeks. And also, the concepts are written in a very elaborated pattern. So you can't write answers from this book. And here comes the role of other student-friendly books. For this, you can buy Hars Mohan's book. This book is also very well written. The contents are written in sort which you can present in your exam copy. And also the diagrams which are given here are relatively easy to draw. And another important thing is that the diseases which are prevalent in India are discussed in detail in this book. Another pathology book is by Ramdas Naik. Though I bought this book in my second year, I didn't read from it because I found the content is an organized representation of the standard textbooks. If I talk about the review book, then you can go for the, the book written by Spurs Gupta and Govind Raigarg. This is a good choice for practicing MCQs. And we are done with pathology. Coming to pharmacology. For pharma, the standard textbooks are Katsang, Goodman and Gilman. But the book which I read is the KD Tripathi's book. And if you can read pharma from this book only, that will be more than enough for you. Even if you can't memorize about each specific drug, you can surely remember the points relevant to the class to which that particular drug belongs. Initially, you may feel the language boring, but as always, you have to keep on reading with patience. But before exam, you may need help from another book, and that book is Sanvag. This book is really very small as compared to the gigantic books, and it's kind of easy to read and remember. You can read two or three chapters in a single go within one to two hours according to your reading capacity. But reading only from Sanbak is not good. Initially, you have to read from KDT and after that, as a side book, you can take help from Sanbak before exam. Alright, for microbiology, I entirely relied on Apurbo Shastri's book. This book is a very good companion. The concepts, each and every concept is written so nicely that you don't have to go here and there. 
The book is easy to understand and definitely you can write your answers in exam from this book. And this book has another part for parasitology which is sold separately. Another micro book that you can buy is Ananta Narayan and Panikar. But I can't tell you much about this book because I didn't read from it. But I heard that the discussion here is a bit lengthy and also not point wise. But still, it will be a good choice. And finally, books for FMT. For this, most of the students use Reddy's book. I don't have the book with me right now because I took it from my college library in my second year and I bought the book by Dr. Gautam Bishash. This is also a good companion. You can go for it. And if you have PSM classes in your college, then no doubt you have to read from PAR. This is the gold standard book for community medicine. In my third year, I am also reading PSM from this book. And here the video comes to an end. If you want to buy the books, then please check out the description box where I have put the Amazon links. I have uploaded a video on how you can make smart notes. The video is here. Check this out. And if you got value from this video, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. As always, thanks for watching.